friends, today I'm going to explain to you and show you one of the main concepts in programming, abstraction. And as a bonus, I'll show you a funny, a uh, small but funny program that I did, that I did just in case not, if my dad's sleeping, not to wake him up. And of course, it's also a good example of abstraction. But why do you really need to know abstraction? Because you'll see this term all the time in programming and you're going to use it almost all the time when you make programs. So, what is abstraction? Abstraction is a term used in programming and it's used when you take very low level implementation details and simplifying them into something more understandable for solving problems. For example, in a microwave, you don't think about what's going on in it, don't you? You just uh, open the microwave, click the button to click the button and then uh, put your food in and close the microwave and then it's going to be warm by the time it's done. Same thing with the fridge. When you put your food in, you just expect it to be chilly there, but you don't actually think about what's happening in it. Let's look at the scratch command. Do you really think about how it is implemented? No, you just use it how you need to. You know what it does. Or we all know that computers store information by using zeros and ones, and that uses an electricity process. But we don't want to use these details to solve a problem of how our hello world should display on our work screen. Or how do math, math operations work? We just use them, and it works as expected. These abstraction principles are used all the time in programming. So, simplifying electricity to zeros and ones is abstraction. Simplifying zeros and ones to decimals, we all understand them better than zeros and ones, is also abstraction. Representation of decimals into le letters or colors is also abstraction. And I talked about that in one of my other videos. Functions that we use in Scratch are also abstraction. When building your program, try to divide it into minimal meaningful units that do one thing and solve one problem but does it very well. Now let me show you my little program and that's also abstraction. A lot of the times when we're playing, it gets too loud. <laughs> But when my dad's sleeping, I want to give him some time to sleep. But you know, it's pretty hard to control yourself. So I made a special program for that. And I called it Yelling Inspector. First of all, to get to get this um this block these blocks, you have to click here and then click text to speech. And then you'll have. Uh second of all, uh, I, I also made my own block, which is also abstraction. It's called Yelling Inspector. And here you can easily change the level of, of loudness you can't exceed. And this way I can easily change the sound level I can speak depending on what time of the day it is or who's sleeping and who's not. Alarm. You are too loud. Your dad is taking a nap. Ah. Alarm. You are too loud. Your dad is taking a nap. Ah! Alarm. Ah! You are too loud. Your dad is taking a nap. I hope that now my dad can take a nice long nap. Ah! Alarm. You are too loud. Your dad is taking a nap. I hope you understood what this concept is. And if you did, then smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. And see you in my next videos. Bye. By the way, summer's ending, so be ready for some harder units where we'll learn way more things about programming.